we hear in the Gospel of Luke. Whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. My friends, as we know, Jesus' ministry wasn't always successful. Although the Gospel shows Jesus working many miracles, Jesus faced opposition and disappointments. Many people at first accepted his preaching. Although Jesus was the light in the land of darkness, shadows of doubt and rejection increasingly confronted Jesus and his disciples. Jesus had to deal with his own disciples and he tried repeatedly to tell them that trouble awaited him in Jerusalem. As he confronted the status quo with his message of unconditional mercy for sinners, he was also being watched by Romans and others. So he left Galilee for their failure to accept his message. They refused to change their hearts even though they saw spectacular signs, they rejected not only him, but the one who sent him. Jesus would begin to speak openly, even in facing all that perhaps hostility. He openly spoke about God's ultimate gift of forgiveness, even in the face of rejection. Jesus is revealed to be the suffering servant rather than the triumphant Messiah that they all were looking for. The core of the gospel and the invitation to discipleship was to find new life with him in the beloved kingdom through Jesus' death and resurrection. And so every time, my friends, that we take the opportunity to meditate on the mysteries of our faith, we can again touch the centers of energy as well as the consciousness that might flow openly into our own lives so that we too can speak the gospel, share the light and the life of the gospel with others, not rejecting but opening ourselves to, to hear the meaning of the Lord's death and resurrection, leading us to new life.